Whoa. That's right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? It's officially happening. Well, Sony has all. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get started for everything, give the video a thumbs up, man. Y'all already know the vibes. Bro, Sony's already officially announced PlayStation VR 2 for the PlayStation 5. But now we're getting a full blowout. Check this out. First, let's look at the screenshots of the new controller, which looks insane. And then they go into full detail on what to expect. Day one cop. Bro. Bro, look how elegant. It just looks comfortable, bro. You can see the buttons, the, the stick. Man, these are the new PlayStation VR controllers. Wow, innovative stuff. All right, so let's go into detail. They go into full detail of the PlayStation VR. So they tweeted out on Twitter. This is what Sony just tweeted out. First details of the new controller for next gen VR on PlayStation 5. Stronger immersion with adaptive, adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, finger touch detection, and more. Next gen PS5 VR is here. All right. Following the recent reveal of our next-gen virtual reality system for PlayStation 5, and this is coming from Senior Vice President Hidekio Nishino of Platform Planning and Management. I'm excited to unveil more details about the new controller that will play a critical role in providing gamers with the VR experience we're working to deliver. Crazy. Our new VR controller speaks to our mission of achieving a much deeper sense of presence and stronger feeling of immersion in VR experiences. We got some more news after this VR stuff, but this is crazy. It will build upon the innovation we introduced with the DualSense wireless controller, bro. This is the best video game controller known to mankind. And I'm not even exaggerating. Oh, this controller is so amazing. All right, which changes how you feel on PS5 by unlocking a new way to tap into the sense of touch. Now we're bringing that innovation to VR gaming. So that technology will be inside of this bad boy. Wow. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The design. The first thing you'll notice with our next gen VR controller is the unique design, which takes on an orb shape. Yeah, it does an orb shape that allows you to hold the controller naturally while playing with a high degree of freedom. There are no constraints with how you're moving your hand, providing developers with the ability to create unique gameplay experiences. And of course, they're wireless. You don't see any wire attachment to them. That's crazy. We also designed the new controller with great ergonomics in mind. So, um, let's just throw up these controllers again, bro. Bro, look how ergonomic they look. All right. With ergonomics in mind. All right. So, it's well-balanced and comfortable to hold in each of your hands. 
We apply learnings from testing users with a range of hand sizes, as well as the decades of insights from controllers across all PlayStation platforms. The result is an iconic design that will change how VR games are played. Check out this look right here, bro. This is the shot right here. Oh my goodness. You put your hands through the orb. This looks so futuristic. Everything screams futuristic. The dual sense, the actual controller design, the headsets, everything's just futuristic. Uh, the PS5 headsets are trash though. But everything else, dope. They're not trash. The audio is trash. Just the mic is trash. All right. Bro, it features. These are the features. The new VR controller enables players to feel and interact with games in a much more visceral way. There are several features, including key features from the DualSense controller, which match our vision for what next-gen next gen VR games can be. First, adaptive triggers. Each VR controller, left and right, includes an adaptive trigger button that adds palpable tension when pressed. Man. Similar to what's found in a DualSense controller. If you play the PS5 game, you'll be familiar with the tension in the L2 and R2 buttons when you press them, such as when you're drawing your bow to fire an arrow. When you take that kind of mechanic and apply it to VR, the experience is amplified to the next level. Haptic feedback. The new controller will have haptic feedback optimized in its form factor, making every sensation in the game world more, just, this is perfect for VR, bro. Like you're gonna, oh my goodness. Um, textured and nuance. When you're tra traversing through a rocky desert or trading blows in melee combat, you'll feel the difference. Magnifying the extraordinary visual and audio experience that is so central via, bro. This is perfect for a boxing game, bro. This is perfect for any kind of fighting game. Oh my goodness. This next innovation, finger touch detection. The controller can detect your fingers without any pressing in the area where you place your thumb, index, or middle fingers. This enables you to make more natural gestures with your hand during gameplay. Wow. Tracking. The VR controller is tracked by the new VR headset through a tracking ring across the bottom of the controller so it tracks where your head is moving in relation to where the controllers are all right action buttons and analog sticks the left controller contains one analog stick the triangle and square buttons a grip button l1 trigger l2 and create button the right controller contains one analog stick the cross and circle buttons a grip button r1 trigger button r2 and options so they pretty much took this controller split it in half that's crazy. Oh, you already, I already can, I, oh, of course I can see it. You can see it right there. That's crazy. All right. The, all right, and option button. The grip button can be used to pick up in-game objects as one exact example. Wow, that's dope. All right. Huh. SIE's product engineering and design teams have collaborated to build our new VR controller from the ground up with the goal of making a huge leap from current gen VR gaming. They're planning on making a huge leap in VR gaming. We're thrilled with the controller we developed, but what matters now is how game creators will take advantage of the feature to design the next generation of VR experiences. Prototypes of our new VR controller will be in the hands of the development community soon and we can't wait to see what ideas they come up with and how the controller helps bring their imagination to life this is hype i'm gonna tell you why there's so much more to share about next gen vr on ps5 bro they say that prototypes for the vr are already gonna be going out in the hands of developers this lets us know that this is happening sooner than we think. I can't wait. But there was one VR game I always wanted. 
on the PS4, this Astrobot VR game. You're controlling Astrobot just like a regular platformer, but it's co combined with the headset, which you're doing crazy stuff, like you're peeking, like it's just insane. Um, I always wanted, to, so I'm still gonna pick up this game. They might make a part two, or it could be a pack and title with the new VR. Bro, I am so hyped for this news, but that's not it. Sony dropped a megaton bomb yesterday. Their play at home initiative. You remember yesterday I reported on they were announcing new indie games, indie games every half an hour. Well, it appears, and there's a big game at the end. Every game that was announced will be absolutely free for PlayStation owners. You don't have to have any subscriptions, <coughs> Game Pass. You don't need to have um, PlayStation Plus online. This is just for having a PlayStation console. You can play these games offline. You get these 10 games for free. They are Abzu, Enter the Gungeon, dope game, Res Infinite, Subnautica, dope game, The Witness, Astrobot, Rescue Mission, the game I just talked about that I always wanted. You get this game for free. You need the PlayStation VR headset, I think. But bro, you get the Astrobot game for free as one of the games. That's just one, but there's more. Moss, Thumper, Paper Beast, and Wait, Funimation Wakanim? I don't know what that is. But starting April 19th, Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition with all of the DLC, all of the content will be free, bro. Bro, this was a game of the year contender and it's going to be absolutely free with no strings attached it's going to be available to download from april 19th through may 14th absolutely free you don't need to have playstation plus playstation now nothing it's just free for owning a sony console there's a big w for sony there's a big w for sony and you could tell they're trying to counter these Game Pass announcements. This is lit stuff. Wow. Because I tell you this, Game Pass, they be having some good announcements. If Sony really, if they really wanted to pursue the subscription model, they could destroy Game Pass's whole life. Because one of Game Pass's big selling points is these big first party games at launch free. And we all know, if you try to put all of Xbox's first party IPs next to Sony's first party IPs, it's not even close. Sony's first party IPs runs laps around them. So if they really wanted to do the same thing, they could easily. But their console is winning in the console sales. They really don't have no incentive to do that. But competition as a whole is healthy. This is dope news, fantastic news. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Sony, bro. <laughs> just for this video, just for this video. We have a Nintendo and Xbox up. But for this video, it was just hype PS5 news. All right, I'll see y'all later. We out.